Hey everybody, well, I had a chance to get out on the motorcycle, one last shot here. Um, I had some time to do some praying and thinking, and I, I made another entire video that I'm going to scrap now, but I just want to let you guys know that things are really bad in the world, and this is not a doom and gloom channel. We don't, we don't do that kind of stuff on here, so I really try to support the hope and the encouragement that we get through our relationship with Jesus. I know you guys have all heard me say that a thousand times. But I went to church this morning, and it was a church that I frequent, and, and you know, it's a great church, whatever. It gives, it gives a lot of inspiration and hope to a lot of people, but I walked in there today, and they were wishing people happy Halloween, and um, it was um, basically, we didn't open our Bibles once. We didn't, they didn't pray. It was all about tithing, and, and it was a donation day an outreach missionary outreach day and but they didn't open their bibles once they didn't quote any scripture they didn't put any of that on the screen it was all about the donations and missionary which i support obviously people go into a different country to speak the gospel amen right but i was just flabbergasted you guys and i'm really disappointed and i'm really unwell in my spirit at the moment and, and you want to know what keeps coming up is 911 urgency right we need to be urgent so even when people in our own family you guys People in our own household aren't saved yet. They don't truly believe that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. We have a lot of work to do, and, and I may outreach thousands of people through the channel and through whatever, but if I can't turn the own, my own people, my own family, man, I'm having a really hard time with that, you guys. I'm really um, digging into Scripture, and I keep coming back with uh, 2 Corinthians 13. Which is, uh, or is it first? Oh man, I think it's Second Corinthians 13. But it's it's love, you guys. It's it's loving one another, and the, the the best thing that I can do is try to live by an example. Don't be hypocritical. Follow through with what you're gonna say. Be, be dependable. Be sober. Be in recovery, and live a life worth living, and and a life worth that they see worth living too. So we kind of have a split in the household. We have two people that were, you know, um, are trying to make sense of it too. And then we have uh, two other people that have made sense of it and, and are pursuing that. But so I wish um, everybody would see the glory and the greatness of Jesus Christ and that everybody would fall in love with him like I did. But it takes time for people. And I can tell you those people in that church are, are, are almost being led astray in my opinion, in my humble opinion, please. Uh, because I just don't think that wishing happy Halloween at the door is something that we should be uh, wishing upon Christians because if we knew anything about the holiday and you were really trying to speak truth, then we will speak truth and that's not really something we should be celebrating. So it's a little, I'm just a little off today and I have been since I fell ill, but it's been a rough week, it's been a rough weekend and so I'm trying to turn it around and I'm, this is just a living testimony, this is a live stream of what's happening in pe people's lives and believers' lives who are trying to do what they can for the kingdom um, but um, meeting a lot of resistance from the enemy and so we need to armor up pray up and, and, and prep up and be prepared for what's coming because I don't plan on working construction my whole life I really would like to speak the gospel and minister to people who are, are hurting who need the help but maybe God has me in my life right now where I'm in, more I'm ministering to people that need to hear it so I'm 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 I'm, I'm content I'm blessed I truly am so thank you guys for listening to me all the time thanks for putting up with me and and I think there's a lot of work to do out there. I just need to figure out how I can be a part of it too. So I want to give them messages. If I'm not hearing, if I'm going to a local church and I'm not hearing a message of hope or encouragement or inspiration, then it's kind of on me to provide that message, right? I'm not saying anything about them or the, what they provide. I'm just saying in my on my side of the street, and in, if the ball's in my court, then I'm going to try and give them a, a message of hope and encouragement. So that's what I'm getting to is next weekend, you guys, I'm going to be giving my first sermon. Now, it might be a little choppy because I'm, I'm really trying to get... The, get it together and learn how to do this but next Sunday or Saturday I'm going to be giving a sermon it's not going to be a long sermon but it's going to be a live stream sermon and you guys are going to be able to to, to chat while I'm doing that and then we'll get um, down to brass tacks and we'll try to figure out what's going on out in the world and maybe this channel can be that beacon of hope that people can go to to try to find some hope in Jesus Christ's name in recovery so wow feel better already Thanks for listening, you guys. Um, if you need anything, you know where to find me. But I'll have time to reply to all your comments as soon as things settle down a little bit. But uh, I thank you guys so much. All your kind comments, I'm telling you, waking up to those in the morning, uh, when when some of them happen overnight, and you guys just fill the, the comment thread with comments of just a pure encouragement, prayer, thoughts, feedback. I love it. I love it. It gives us hope. It gives us hope, not just me, us. Love you guys. God bless.